Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. Today we are down here with the guys at Gibbs Key Boat Sales to have a look at this Salpa 23 XL. Now these boats are made in Italy. This particular example is brand new. And I have to be honest, it represents quite incredible value for money. I'm not saying it's cheap, but it comes at a really good price and it's a really good standard specification. So, before we have a look on board, as you can see here, pretty standard bathing platform. Well, I would imagine that is synthetic teak. I'll have to check, it feels like real teak to be honest with you. Out drive leg in the back there, and you can see tucked underneath here, we've got this swim ladder. And right under the back, I don't know how well you can see that, just down here, there you go, we have the trim tabs. Stern cleats, which is always nice. And it comes, as I say, included in the price with a full standard cover. This particular one's in grey. I suspect there's other colour options. But decent sized swim platform. You can walk around both sides. As you can see, there's a guardrail up the side deck. Nice little uh, gated entry. And then down here we have the pull out shower, like so. And then the mixer tap for the shower. Over on the st our port side, we've got the water tank infill. One step in, and down here we've got the manual build pump. One, two steps up, takes you onto the side deck. We'll have a look on the fore deck in a minute. You can unzip this canopy and walk all the way forward. Nice little cockpit sink with a tap in there. And underneath that sort of a wet bar area, we have a fridge, which is quite nice because look, it's also got the uh, little ice compartment, which is always a winner. I've actually just noticed I've just stepped over here, look. Storage bin. Oh, there you go. That's quite neat. So that's access to your water tank and your, I would imagine, engine batteries, I would guess. Let's take a little step back over here. So here you can see you've got an array of seating cupping around here. There's a seat there. I believe there's also an insert that fits in here. So you can have seating across here as well. The table in there. Fixed backrest here. But if you want to, using the mechanism on the side here, you can unpick that. That mechanism comes forward and then you can gain access to the engines or equally you can use this entire section as a larger sunbathing area. In fact, while we're here, let's have a quick look at the engine. So here you go. We need to lift this cushion off here. Bear with me while I do this single-handed. I've already taken the little cushion that fits in there out of the way. And this is really neat. For access on a boat like this, it's pretty straightforward. So that just lifts up, hinges forward, and there you go. All of this you can see on the back here is the soundproofing to keep the noise down. And in here we have the engine. It's a petrol V6. It's a four and a half litre, 250 horsepower. Surprisingly good, these modern petrol engines, in all fairness. They're very quiet, they're very efficient. They're surprisingly light compared to a diesel engine. So you actually get, you take these as bigger engine to go fast. Over the back here you can see, there you go, blue tank. That's the holding tank, I'd imagine. And that's your macerator pump. The light blue tank over here, that's your hot water. Then as you can see, associated electrical systems and piping. This one here is a fresh water pump because we obviously looked at the fresh water tank is on that side. Extractor fan. So there you go, that's the engine bay. Pretty impressive. Let's drop this back. For the sake of that, there you go. It's just dropped back in there. Infill cushion goes back around here, like so, and that falls down. So you can imagine, covers on at the moment, you can imagine sitting here, resting your feet on the rail at the back, looking out over the back of the boat, wake powering away from you on a lovely day. Not unlike it's been down here today, actually. 
So, moving forward, oh, let's just pop that. So that seat folds back up. Infill cushion goes back into there like so. And down here we have battery isolation switch. There's a trip there as well. Engine isolator switch down there for the engines. Let's have a quick peek, shall we see what's in here? Oh, there you go, shore power. So, RCD for the shore power, shore power cable, and some storage for cables and fenders and the like. Then, under fender covers, these boats really do come with pretty much everything that you need to get afloat. Under here, there's another little storage bin. Pretty standard storage bin. Oh, wrong way around. Fabric's really nice as well. Okay, I don't know what it is. But it's got a real nice texture to it. Oh, while we're here, let's have a quick peek under this locker as well. Oh, there you go. Just a nicely lined storage locker. And in there, there's the leg. Look, or the support for the table. Actually, if I get a chance, I'll take a couple of pictures with the tables up. And I'll slot those in in a moment. So obviously helms up here this is quite neat over on the port side conventionally you've got a chaise long so you can lie there again look back out over the back of the boat see the world powering by but what's clever is if you want to stop and have a bite to eat take that cushion off we'll pop him up there for the moment and under here you have a galley sink nice mixer tap single burner gas hob and this, this is not a mirror, so you can admire me. This is actually just, obviously, when you put this down, it could still be warm. So the stainless uh, protects the GRP from melting. But if you're not going along, or if you are going along, you want to put that back down. Infill cushion goes back into there. And there you go, you have your chaise long back again. So over on the starboard side, we have a helm seat. Really decent size, actually, for both of this size. Nice double seat, as you would expect. We're getting used to these now. A lift bolster. Just while we're here, let's have a quick peek. There's another little locker down there. Ah, oh, there you go. That's where the gas bottle lives. Fire the cooker. Fire extinguisher, which is always nice. Fire extinguisher override to fire the fire extinguishers in the engine bay. Manual bilge pump. Fusion stereo. Cobra uh, GPS radio with GPS which is quite nice 12 volt socket here and then this obviously is the throttle controller which is quite nice because it's got the trim you can control the leg the pitch of the leg in the water uh, really nice too actually this is a really nice seating position I don't know how well you can see but down here is a footrest which for me anyway is a perfect fit just to sit here and look over the helm that's your view forward Again, I believe this is standard, but I do apologize if I'm wrong. Garmin navigator, bow thruster, and auto trim. And then a usual array of switches that you would expect. And then we have things like fuel consumption, fuel consumption, fuel gauge here, battery voltage, trim. So as you trim your leg up and down, using the switch we just looked at here, it gives you a reading on this gauge. Then we have engine RPM, oil pressure sorry oil temperature oil pressure and speed and then there's probably a display in here which gives you things like engine hours and engine details so there you go conventional compass double cup holder which is always good but the most amazing thing is actually the visibility you've got forward because you've got a really decent screen line here and then if the weather's not so bad you've got the cover and the canopy to protect you so there you go that's the deck area, and I'm sure you've noticed, but I haven't actually said, the entire deck area is teaked, and I will find out and put comments in here as to whether it's real teak or synthetic teak. So, let's go and have a quick look down below. So there's a catch on the door here. Slides neatly across. There's a little catch down here as well, so you can flick that across when you're at sea to stop the door smashing across in the tide or in a swell. Lovely little teak cap on the top there. Three steps down in, before we go in, let's just show you the cabin from this angle. So, again, this is technically a 23 foot boat, 
So there's quite a lot of space down here, more than I would have expected. Nice holly antique floor. Two, two steps in. Not quite standing headroom for me. Now we can see that. That's standing headroom there. But nevertheless, it is pretty good. And then here we've got a V-berth. There's an insert, the one we looked at earlier in that cockpit uh, sole locker and a table that slots in here. I'll drop in a picture uh, when I've finished of the table. Storage under all of these bins, under all these seats. So one storage there, storage at the front and I'll give you an example, storage in there, nicely, nicely lined and storage in there. There you go. So that's all very nice. We go all the way forward here. There's a hatch, escape hatch in for additional illumination. And then there's a little night blind across there. To keep it dark at night. Obviously the mirror you've spotted. Then this is quite nice as well. Little hole windows, but they all open. All on catch. There's another one over there. And there's one on this side. Got plenty of down light, so it's quite bright in here. Looking astern, really neat. Under these steps, so this is quite nice. All the steps are open. A lot of boats, they'll fill the steps in down the side here. So you lose the open feeling of this aft berth. Little locker in here, look. A bit of extra storage in there as well. Little trinket table. Nice deep locker, in fact, or sort of compartment down there. Beautifully finished wood. And then in here we have the aft berth, under sole cockpit. So very, very long. And again, where well, you can see that there's more storage at the back there. There's a vent opening ventilation port light here. Night sort of reading light there and a little down light there as well. And this out of interest, when you buy a boat, this is effectively the owner's manual. So in here, open is all the information that relates to the boat so let's take this out as an example so there you go there's the information for the navigator what else have we got in here there you go and there's the little handbook maintenance manual instruction manual produced by Salper for the 23XL so every system that's on board this boat that's been fitted to this boat is in that little book, is in that little bag. How neat is that? So the last thing we need to look at down here is the heads. So quite logically that's through this little door here. Lovely handle. Into the heads and that's obviously where the other opening port light sits. Really nice illumination. So there's a spotlight above the mirror up there. It's a nice, oh you can see that here, but there's a little run of LED lighting under there sink as always with a conventional pull out shower head and a mixer tap again as standard which is really nice an electric flush loo so use the loo conventionally and flush it pretty much as you would at home but it's electric little storage locker in here which is quite neat as well because it gives you the ability to gain access to all your plumbing and because there's a shower in here you've then got a slats in the floor here which allow the water to drain out but what a really nice little cockpit again there's not standing headroom in there but it's certainly a working headroom so there you go last thing we need to do is go and have a quick walk around the decks actually before i do that i'll also try and drop in a picture um, with the forward berth infill cushions in so you can see what that's like So to get to the forward part of the boat, or the bow as we like to call it, you uh, can step up here. I've taken this side section out, just to give you an idea of how open it is. Obviously it's quite nice that it has a little radar arch up here. So that gives you the ability to one, support the canopy, and two, gives you locations for lighting, which is quite nice. And it's quite clever that they've actually got little clips in here, so you can put your boat hook up there as well. But anyway, so 
one two steps up immediately met by a grab handle which is really nice then another grab handle here quite narrow decks but again it's a 23 foot boat and don't forget most american sports boats of this size have no side deck at all it's to climb through the windscreen once we start to move forward again there's another grab rail down here and again going back to the value of this boat this area here you can see with the ridges or the ridge ribs in it the boat comes as standard with bow cushions and again i'll drop in a picture of what the bow cushions look like when they're all in here there's the four hatch that we looked at forward we have a couple of fenders two fender baskets that side and two finger fender baskets on the far side moving forward a couple of cleats little anchor locker in here there you go and again electric anchor winch is standard this one's tied on so you can't you can't drift off on its own and then in there i don't know how well you can see that's a little bit dark you've got some chain a galvanized chain and then some nylon rope it's also pretty neat look obviously anchor here down there little seat so the idea with this is you can sit here as i'm going to do now and take a look back over your boat so there you go that is a salpa 23 xl hope you've enjoyed the video do please subscribe and i look forward to seeing you next time round. i'll leave you with a view of the dry stack see you next time round